Okay, what's up, fight fans? What's up, fight world? YouTube, everybody, everybody, everybody out there. All right, Curtis Stevens, Tyranno Johnson. Sorry if I'm not saying it right. Really wasn't that focused on my man's name, and people mess up on my name all the time, so I don't mean nothing by it. Yo. I was just having a conversation about this, and I, I'm going to be honest, I feel strongly about the subject. Early stoppages, okay? I'm going to tell you like this. When people say, oh my gosh, maybe it was a good stoppage, even though we stopped the fight while a fighter is on his feet and able to recover. My problem with early stoppages is it's becoming an excuse to pad these fighters' records with KOs, with undeserved KOs, okay? Now, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to explain to you what an undeserved KO is. Uh, by definition, a KO is a person getting knocked down on the ground and unable to beat a 10 count. That by definition, by boxing's definition, is supposed to be what a KO is. Okay? A KO isn't supposed to be a referee diving in between both fighters and waving one hand and two hands across the air or none of that. That's not supposed to be a KO. That isn't a KO. Okay? Uh, people say, oh, you know, well, you know, it only takes one punch, one punch to do all this. I believe that along with a good amount of professional opinions uh, as far as doctors in the scientific world and anatomy and all that, when I say it is not one punch that usually kills anybody. It's usually an accumulation of punishment taken. That is done. A person who gets beat up all the time in the gym, a person who's just taken a whole lot of shots to the head, a person who has serious traumatic brain trauma and whatever, like that is the cause of a person's demise, of uh, something happening that really takes a person out of it. Okay? One solo shot, I believe, is rarely the occasion. Okay? I really, I really doubt that one shot, there's just not that many fighters out there, not many punchers out there who've got that one, one punch death strike. Like, that just isn't the case. Now, I'm going to say this. When Curtis Stevens hit him with the hook and you saw him, you know, kind of go out of it for a split second, you know, I'll give him a whole half second, whatever. It looked like he was genuinely hurt. Okay, I'm going to say he was genuinely hurt. But after he threw about five more punches, like only one landed. Now, I was just having the discussion with a good friend of mine, Julie, shout out. Um, and she says, well, it looked like he was really out of it and you don't want him to take too much punishment. That man signed a contract to take punishment. He knows what he signed up for. He was in there for nine rounds, ten rounds, going on ten rounds. And he had enough in him to step back without falling first and to make him miss most of his punches after that. So only like one in four punches were landing after that. That means he's doing something consciously to get out of the way. Because if you're a professional fighter and you can't hit a person who's out of it, something's wrong with you. Okay? So he wasn't that out of it. He It took some level, some kind of conscious level of, of defense or something, or some level of consciousness for him to get out of the way of punches. And his hands were kind of up, and he was still looking for stuff. And he recovered from every punch that night without any serious damage or whatever. I'm going to tell you one thing. That referee gave him that fight. The judges probably weren't going to be able to do it. The referee gave him that fight. And I like Curtis Stevens, so I'm not hating on nobody. Just keeping 1,000 with you. People need to keep it real in this life. And that's what I do. If you don't agree with me, whatever. You can leave a comment, like it, subscribe, do whatever you do. 
It's your boy Lucky Swag. Holla at you.